I gotta move though, because the ants are crawling up my feet. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Welcome be to the beautiful world of aquascaping. We're in the nature. <laughs> We're in Peter Roscoe's place. This is his hacienda here, and he's got the new nice pond. Check out his channel though. I want to give a big shout out to his channel, his Amateur Aquatics. That's the one. Yeah, it's pretty good. And um, he will teach you what not to do. 100%. And we're gonna escape today a 120p aquarium, 120 by 45 by 45. It's a new aquarium at his place. Welcome to the channel, my friends. We are in Eastern Europe now. We've got the Vladimir Putin statue in the background. And this is Peter Rosko from the UK. And this is the beautiful flowers he bought for his dear wife, who is Russian. Привет. What is this? Is this Amazonia powder? Do this know is by, property. You do know by doing this, you're gonna lose literally every British subscriber you've got on YouTube. Big shout out to Tetley T. Big shout out to... Come on, pronounce it. <laughs> Qin Yang 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 Ming. Now, now we lost all the Chinese subscribers as well. Yeah. I posted something on Instagram and everyone's asking me what type of aquarium this is. It's a green aqua aquarium. I, I said it's from green aqua, it's 120 by 45-45. Okay, what kind of lights do you have about Okay, it? I have the ONF um, flat one. Love the light, it's uh, fully remote control on your phone. Check this out guys, what is this? Peter, I told you you should be ready for us. The CO2 you're gonna have to check yourself. Okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's a canister, <laughs> but... I don't know if that's also what you call pressurized it. Pressurized CO2. Pressurized guys. CO2, there we go. Um, and the uh, the filtration, we have the OAS Bio Master 600. Okay. Two of them. Amateur aquatics. That's what I expected. <laughs> if you're from Liverpool, you keep one of these in your socks at all times for defense. You're kidding me. It's my mate Stanley. Really? No, of course not, but in the films, yes. I think we're gonna do a classic Iwagumi. Would you be happy with that? Sure. What's your only preference? You told me that you wanna have some, uh, some <sighs> rocks sticking out of the water. Yeah, for me, I'd like it. You know, it's the first time I've had a light that's suspended and we can adjust it. So I'd like something breaching the surface. PowerSense Advanced L, which is the new PowerSense Special. Mm -hmm. It has all the bacteria in it and everything else. As you start from the foreground, when you like pour it in, it will push the substrate backwards. Top tip. There you go. Foreground only. You see some kind of small roots or small branches of wood inside the uh, soil. These will float up to the surface and you can just net them out. How is it? Tastes like Brazil. Let's start with that triangle composition, which starts from here with the big rock on the left side. The Rocky Mountain feeling will still come in. This is gonna be very sweaty. I'm supporting the big rock with some smaller lava stones, Dave Chow style. Your stone, sir. And this will go inside and just close the gap. I want to create a big hill on this side. I want to raise the substrate to here. We have to have somebody coming in from Green Aqua to bring us some more because Victor didn't pack enough Aqua Soil Amazonia bags. Okay. Because see, hardscape and soil, it's coming. Bloody Victor. <laughs> Let's blame others. Okay, so let's start cleaning these plants. Are you gonna help me? <laughs> if you want me to. 
Wash it, rinse it, mate. Wash it, rinse it. That's a song, no? What is it? I don't know. Sounds, Sounds like one. You've got Monte Carlo here, Brasiliensis, the Marsilia Hirsuta. This one is Crypto Parva, and this one is uh, the Fissidens Fontanus Moss. What we selected here are only foreground plants or midground plants, and I did that because I really don't want you to start trimming your plants regularly. So this is going to be a low maintenance tank. What do you have in the filter? What kind of filter material do you have it in? Some stones. <laughs> You're kidding me. No, it's what you guys sold me. <laughs> to Not me, it stones. looks like stones. Oh, okay. So you've got Matrix in it. This is the Elocaris Pusilla 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Oh, oh, the cab is here. Perfect timing. <laughs> chop, chop, Peter. Are you sure you got the chip Where's the second box? Oh. We're going to continue putting in stones on that side, but before we do that, we need to add some more Amazonia. We need to add some Pinatifida here in the back because I really want that to grow out. This one? Yeah, yeah, just full bag. We're gonna have the plants just going upwards here and it's gonna look like a nice hill. When we enter here, we should see the tank from the right side. Let's just have a graduation here. It'd be good as well, like when people walk in, you know, they, they turn their heads this way rather than the dirty dishes. We need to close this line with some kind of rocks. So let's just put in a wall here. Peter found the perfect rock. What is that? It's a snail? Yeah. Yummy. Well, I'm gonna place it on a rock. <laughs> we should it's call just... this snail Victor. <laughs> yeah, because he's slow. You can see that I'm putting smaller stones in the background that will create some depth to the tank. You've got one line coming from this side and you've got another line which will come from this side. So I'm gonna start placing rocks here. We have a total of seven bags of Amazonia in there. We need to add some depth to the tank by adding smaller rocks there. Would you like to have like a small, not a bigger stone in the foreground, which will take a lot of space from the plant? So you're not gonna have a plant mess here, but you're gonna have a big bare rock here. I think it might take stuff away from these rocks because they look pretty cool. It's too much. And this path, you know, I've already thought of a name for the path. We're gonna call it Balash's <laughs> Back Passage. No, let's not call it that. <laughs> <laughs> the Russians. Yeah. The Russians are here? Yeah. <laughs> Fighter planes. I'll start planting Monte Carlo and I'll start from the foreground. Have you got RO filter? <laughs> He's laughing. If you want really healthy plants, you need to have soft water. I'm gonna start to plant upwards, moving the line of Monte Carlo up in between these rocks. One third of the tank is kind of ready. I have some good news as well. I sent a picture to my wife. And? Um, well, she said she doesn't want to kill you, so. Oh, cool. Oh, well, she said it looks amazing. <laughs> I suck at this. It's okay, it's okay, just leave it. Yeah? Yeah, push it in, release. Yeah, there you go. Sex tips from Balash. Push it in, release. No. <laughs> Do 
Should we start an auction in the comments below? For the snail. For, For the snail. snail. If you want to buy Victor the snail, start an auction below. Does Green Aqua deliver to the States yet? No, and everybody's asking that, and so we're not big enough for that yet, but we're gonna do it, hopefully, when we get a little bit bigger with your support, guys. Cool, so now we're moving to um, Eleocaris Pusilla. Priscilla. Using Eleocaris in the middle of the tank only at this moment in small groups. The biggest plant that we have here, actually, the Lilopsis brasiliensis. This one will grow about 10 centimeters high, so we can only use it somehow right next to the rocks. If you are watching from Australia, good day. Actually, you've got viewers from Australia. Yeah? Absolutely. Aborigines or? <laughs> there you lost everybody else now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just making sure we could cover every group equally, you know? If you have bigger plants in the front, then you will have the sense of scale. So I will use all the Brasiliensis in the foreground. Next plant is Marsilea hirsuta. But it doesn't need CO2, no? No, it's a low-tech plant. Cryptoparva should definitely go to the bottom of the rocks. Right, look what I found. Eleocaris acicularis. It's a pad plant. It's like, you remember the little trolls you used to get as a toy? Okay, and then I think we're ready with everything. All we have to do is have the mosses glued onto the stones. We have to introduce some Fissidens moss and also some Ricardia moss. Ooh, sexy. Right? Yeah. Feeling trapped down on the floor. I don't know what for. Feels like I'm gonna lose. Silence. I can't let it go Chain up, no one knows But I won't let the stormy seas Throw me in open water Let me have my peace And leave me to tomorrow Wind into my sea. What I would strongly not suggest to you is to spray the moss after you glued it. The water will wash uh, out the glue, the still but you mean wait for it to dry? Yeah, because if, okay. if you don't, then the water will wash out the glue and it, you will have the white stripe right below it. We can add all kinds of stones to the layout, which will really help us to add some detail to the foreground. So how long do you think it'll be until the plants grow out completely? Probably a month or two. If you use RO water, it will be much, much better. So at this point in the video, what do you reckon comments wise Victor's going for? Like 20 euro, 30 euro? Uh, dollars, we're in dollars, well. Yeah, we are in dollars, okay, definitely. So I reckon we're probably up to 50. We lost everybody else from the channel, only yeah. American state only, here. Only the people who love snails. <laughs> right. No, that's French, right? I really like this hardscape. I expected to have a much more crowded. This has a good balance of rocks and plants and everything, so it's gonna look very traditional Ivagumi. All right, we're ready. What do you think? What does your wife think? I'm gonna send her a picture, and if you don't hear from me... And leave me to tomorrow, wind into myself. It's gonna be, yeah, like gladiator, you know? Like, but no, I, <laughs> okay. I, I think it looks amazing. Um, Thanks, mate. Well, I hope that you guys like it. Please let us know what you think about Peter Roscoe's new Ivangumi scape. Please hit the like button if you like this scape and this video and hit the bell button to get notified of future uploads if you didn't mm -hmm. click that yet. Sure. And uh, please subscribe to the Green Aqua channel if you didn't do sure. so yet. Okay. And follow Peter Amateur Aquatics again. He's somebody you can really learn from a lot. <laughs> yeah, just do the opposite. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so until next week. Ciao. Bye. Dave, ciao. Dave Chow. Dave Chow. Oh, that's good. Ciao. Dave Chow.
Comment below if you're from a nation we haven't offended in this video. But I won't let the stormy seas throw me in open water. Let me have my peace and leave me till tomorrow. Wind into myself, away from things I let go. Floating on the way. We go bottoms up, we go all the way. When you're feeling down, 